previously. I guess I got it. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Henry, and welcome back to We Happy Few. I recently found a new shelter, which is pretty damn awesome. So we are going to eat some food real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and drink the scotch. Ooh. And then eat, uh, stew, no. Slice of pie, yeah. Cool. And now we are good to go. Let's do this. You guys having a good day today? I'm having a good day today. Now this is pretty awesome. Got this nice little house here. Oh gosh. And we've slept a little bit, so maybe I Ooh, I can lock it while I'm inside. Go ahead and close that window so nobody comes in here. And now let's get to the bridge. Oh gosh, what is happening to my computer? Oh, where's my computer? Whatever. Uh, but I put the... Any bobbies around? I don't see any. Ah, but I do see some Rosa Gilliads. And some night blooming nonsense. Not, non... Not such. Whatever. Did you get for making sick up tea? I guess let's go that way. Yeah. Keep calm, carry on. Yeah, of course they'd have that poster here. <coughs> Alright. Sure there's no bobbies around. Let's see any. Ooh, I'll go up and up. Nothing in. There's a branch there. I don't really need a branch. I don't bite. Like fighting, anyways. What is happening up there? <coughs> Why is this a giant broken heart? Talk your way past the Bobby. Okay. Hello. How are you? Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past <laughs> month. Ah! There's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wasteful friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. You're not... Some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I... I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Have a great day, sir. You're so dark in there. What are you, what are you doing in there? Okay. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Yep. Go this way. All empty. Damn it, I need a key card. 
from return to Hamish Village. Oh, I can't see what this says. Ground floor. Please take a number away your turn. Headed to the elevator. Rehabilitation. Place belongings and pneumatic stash. Discard old clothes. Take a nice cold shower. Put on proper decent clothes. Put on a fragrance. Oh, I need to put on... Nice clothes. Uh, put on a fragrance, pop a joy, vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry, watch an Uncle Jack video, lucky you. Answer a simple, oh, testing, answer a simple easy quiz, if after a curfew, spend the night in a cozy cottage, retreat belongings from pneumatic stash, take elevator to exit, go forth and fret no more. Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Fair enough. Wait. <sighs> so how's it going today? Doing alright? I think I'm doing alright. Number two. Now serving number two. Is that me? To the rehabilitation center. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Of course. Hmm. Morning, it's past curfew. Good to know. Why do those look like giant buttholes? Please deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. I mean, sure. <coughs> Please continue to the decontamination room. Okay. Naked. Ah, oh, shit. I have all this stuff. Guys, I'm gonna take a shower. Back to the nomadic stash. Nope. Oh, ah! I'm sorry. A clean worker is a keen worker. It's so bright. Ah! Very nice. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. I don't like the look of this. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, 
old strawberry. Oh shit. I really don't want to take any more Troy. It's a wacky ass war. Oh, sorry, God. I'm gonna keep whacking my fucking microphone. Hi. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it. They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Can I not take the joy though? Do I have to sing to not set off the detectors? <clears throat> Damn it, I don't. Joy makes you happy, but care, take care not to take too much. The Joy Meter will help you track your Joy experimentation. If the Joy Meter fills, you will overdose and suffer penalties to combat crafting and conformity until the overdose passes. As you take more Joy, you'll notice a memory loss counter around the Joy Meter. This counter tracks your memory loss from taking Joy too many times. When, the joy, when this meter is full, you will crash and suffer severe penalties. For this reason, you should use Joy tactically and only when necessary. Oh, great. Please head into the theater and take a seat. Oh, boy. Please keep eyes open. This room is for showing Uncle Jack only. It is not for other activities. Use the cozy call to Joseph. You must. Uh, I'm so happy. Etiquette minute. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlet Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlet Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Just pop another, and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench Relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I hear he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. Let's move. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now. Please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Oh, lovely. Everything is so nice. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it. But a word to the wise, not a decent people, don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking, or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them, and we shan't have disagreements. Okay. 
Oh boy. <coughs> Hi. Probably a Oh, 
Wait. What? What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. <laughs> get out of here. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five young customers are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington World. Mr. Cashier, what question did you have for our customers? I made it out. Ah. I need to get all my stuff back out. Ducky, you're so fun. You make bath time, or I guess Rubber Ducky is the one. Bandages. Some more crafting items. Um, I'm gonna keep all my healing bombs just in case. I shouldn't need a whole lot of sick up tea. I'm gonna put two back. Honestly, I shouldn't need a lot of dirty bandages either. Keep five on me. I've got two normal bandages. I should really try and use those too. Alright. Wait. What's your weight? Point one. Okay. Um. One of my grapefruit juice for some of my scotch. One of those. Keep all my jerky. Down sixty two. Okay, that's good. It's regular tea. Ooh, it's got hmm. That gives me joy. I'll put that up. I don't want that. I should keep it though. Probably don't need twelve Jimmy bars. Keep eight on me. I don't need a banger. Keep the safe cracker and the flashlight. Glass bottle, keep that. Maybe some of these cow chops. Okay. Got a histoplasm.
Um, don't need this umbrella. Don't really fight much. I'm gonna get rid of one of these bats. I guess while I'm here, I don't need this suit. But when am I gonna be able to find? Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll keep this gas mask just in case. Alright, was there anything that I want to take back? Just some of these gym bars. I should probably keep the tea in case I walk by anyone that wants to give me joy. Um. Bobby Fan. It's for mint. Um. Some of these duct tapes back. Got a couple of these. Some stick up tea. How much do I need for a stick up tea? Need one. Okay. I need an empty pill bottle and some charcoal for my stick up tea. Let's take one charcoal and an empty pill bottle. Uh, Rosa, oh yeah. These don't weigh very much either. I'm gonna go ahead and take these. Feather. Um, I think we're good. canteen for some water. Okay. And I don't have anything yet. I want to get this and then this. Actually, which one is the one that causes people to not notice me as much? Which one's the one that makes people notice me less? Ah, this one. So this is the one that I want next. Okay. Let's go ahead and sleep. Get full. Ooh. Yeah, I really want to get rid of my joy. But I should keep it because uh, I don't really know what's going on out there. Okay, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. I'm not telling you out. Bye!